Meet Cute has some exciting changes coming your way, so get ready to level up your listening. Craving new Meet Cute episodes as soon as they drop? Discover a new episode of our addictive audio series from romantic comedies to dramas to fantasies, Tuesdays and Fridays on our main feed, Meet Cute Originals. Plus, get a special bonus series on Mondays throughout the summer. Prefer to binge listen? Get the full series in one single episode, dropping on the last day of the series run. Say goodbye to the Meet Cute All Access subscription because now all listeners can enjoy our series anywhere, anytime, completely free. Because at Meet Cute, stories are on us always. doesn't make sense. How could this be happening now? In the book, Lena didn't realize she was a Sharon until close to the end. And being close to the end of the story would mean I'm close to death. How is the saint's condition? Your grace. Fortunately, the worst has passed. Marky Hannaton. Marky Hannaton's presence at her side has made all the difference. He's been so attentive and sweet to the saint. Callus? Come on, Lena. Wake up. Callus isn't even noticing I'm here. A new Sterren. Your Grace, this is quite exciting for the house. This all seems dramatic. This is weird. My fiancé isn't noticing I'm here. And Rusha, Lena's future love interest, if all goes according to the book, seems to be suspicious of her. Lady Steria, were you also afflicted in such a way when you awakened as a Sterren? No, Your Grace. The effects a person experiences from Constellation Steel are proportional to the magnitude of their power. My divine power is nowhere near as immense as Saint Lena's, apparently. I'm tired of this. There's no way the saint was unaware of the fact that her body was overflowing with divine power. Yet she still insisted on touching Constellation Steel and causing such an uproar in my palace. I can't be running around because some saint needed more attention than she was already getting. Well, I don't know about that... I don't think she would purposefully go to these lengths to- Abigail! Your Grace? You've been overseeing the Saint's lessons, have you not? Well, I just stepped in a few days ago. Tell me, if she were properly educated on the rules of this world, why would she do this? Maybe because she feels a great sense of admiration for Lady Seria. Maybe she wanted to be more like her. Yeah, right. Great sense of admiration. This little punk is coming for me. This is my fault, Your Grace. I'm sorry. Lena doesn't admire me. She just wanted to check if she was a Sharon. In the book, Lena accidentally came into contact with Constellation Steel. Her divine power burst forth with such force that it nearly killed her. This time, she seems to have touched it on purpose. I don't like how things are playing out. How am I supposed to avoid my fate if I can't anticipate what's coming next? (laughs) She's waking up. Great. She's alive. Lena, are you awake? Oh, Callus still has not noticed I'm here. I've got to watch how he treats the darling saint. Callus? Don't worry, Lena. You'll be fine. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I could scream right now, but I won't. Gotta keep your head to keep your head, right? Shall I cut off his hand? Did he say that to me? The Burke estate is extremely busy in winter. I don't have the means to keep this nuisance in my palace any longer. Abigail, send word to the High Church that St. Lena will be returning there as soon as she's able to move. Your Grace, isn't that rather excessive? She didn't choose to become ill. I beg to differ, Marquis. Calling a saint and a Sharon a nuisance? What is wrong with you? I can say whatever I want. We're in my palace. She's sick, Your Grace. She can't move. She needs to rest. You know who else is sick, Marquis? Your intended. I think your priorities might be a bit off. (laughs) Oh, uh, Saria, I... I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Yes. (laughs) Hello. I'm the one who should be angry at Callus for tending to another woman, not Rusha Burke. Time after time, I've swallowed my feelings, trying to stay nice and affable, thinking all along it would help me avoid Saria's fate in the story. But now... 
Lena, uh, are, are you all right? Lady Saria. Oh my God, he's holding my hand. What if Callus sees? Don't worry, Lena. You'll be fine. I'm right here. I can't believe I haven't heard from Callus since yesterday. You think he would feel bad about blowing me off in front of everybody? Lady Saria. <gasps> oh, your Grace, you surprised me. Do you think you'll be able to inspect the lake properly? Oh, I... If you're just using the inspection as a means of escape, why not just lock yourself away in the annex instead? It's almost as if he cares about me? You don't need to be worried about me, Your Grace. I'm going to fulfill my duties. I am a Sterren. My lady, I wasn't doubting you. I would never... Syria! I've been looking for you everywhere. Interesting that I find you here with him. That's an interesting way to greet the Archduke, Marquis. Well, you'll have to pardon my rudeness, Your Grace. I don't have to do anything. Interesting, Your Grace, that I've been looking for my betrothed all day and I find her here, in this very secluded area with you. Syria, come. I don't recall granting you permission to enter. Are you unaware of the fact that no one aside from Ashtaran may enter this place without my express approval? If I wasn't so fatally insecure, I'd think they were fighting over me. I will gladly make restitution once I return to my own lands. <laughs> you think I need your money? You think you get to decide your own punishment for disobeying my laws? In my house, we follow tradition. What tradition? Well, Marquis, break my rules and one of your hands gets cleaved off at the wrist. Ooh, that's a harsh punishment. Don't be ridiculous. Are you calling for war between our houses? I never said war. Are you calling for a war? War? In the middle of winter? If it is a war you crave, then Burke will gladly answer. It is you with the bloodthirsty craving, not I. Very well. I shall have an urgent dispatch sent to your estate immediately, and- An urgent dispatch? Your Grace, my intended has been most discourteous, but wouldn't waging a war over something this minor be cruel to the knights who are already responsible for minding the glacier in winter? I beg you, your grace, please, show the same benevolence that you have shown this, Sterren. My betrothed will vow to never do anything so disrespectful again. Why is Risha looking at me like that? Oh, I'm holding onto his robe. Hmm, my careless fingers. Oh. Oh, snap out of it, Saria. Marquis, you have a most excellent fiancé. <sighs> Saria, a word? Uh, I gotta get out of here. Saria, stop. I, I asked to speak with you. you. You took hold of the Archduke's clothing. It, it was so indiscreet. I'm the one whose behavior has been indecent? You mean Lena? She is a delegate of the gods who has come to us from an otherworldly plane. She has no one to rely on but me. Can you understand that? I think I have been more than understanding. You have a funny way of showing it. You didn't even acknowledge my presence in St. Lena's bedchambers. Uh, that was different. You're right. It is different. I don't call the Archduke by name, let alone in front of my intended. Saria, please. Uh let go of my hand! I'm trying to talk to you. Everything is spinning. I can't keep calm. Ah. Saria, how could you ah. wrench your hand away like oh. that? You, you've fallen in the snow. Let me help. I can get up on my own. Why don't you just break off our engagement and propose to St. Lena instead? You're the one I love. <laughs> how am I supposed to believe that? Sure, I didn't fall head over heels in love with Callus. At first, this was all just an attempt to escape my fate and survive. But at some point, I started to feel something for him. In the book, Callus takes his own life. We share similar fates. Since Lena and Rusha already have a happy ending laid out for them, wouldn't it be all right if the two of us enjoyed a bit of happiness too? you realize how terrified I am every time I see you by your side? <sighs> Saria, Saria, don't cry. I... We'll leave for my estate as soon as the wedding is over. Once St. Lena recovers, I promise to never see her again. I'll be a faithful husband. He seems sincere enough. Maybe all of this fighting is pointless. <sighs> 
Just make sure you're at the wedding, okay? And on time. Where else would I be? What are you trying to say, Callis? You can't call me that anymore. We know each other. We're close. That's it, Lena. We can't be close anymore. After the wedding, we can't spend time together. I wish we'd met sooner. Don't say things like that. What's that bracelet you're wearing? I've never seen it before. You notice everything. It's a gift from Serio. I think she and I should be friends. I think that would help. This isn't because of Seria. Oh, come on, Callis. I'm not stupid. I know it's Seria telling you that you can't spend time with me. She was clearly not happy to see you caring for me when I was sick. It is a breach of etiquette to refer to someone you're not close with by their first name. You need to address her as Lady Seria. Ah, oh, you people and your etiquette. Lena, calm down. And now Archduke Burke says I have to return to the High Church said you were my protector. You'll never know how happy I was when I heard you say those words. It was all of it a lie. Oh, Lena, come on. Is there anything I can do to get Lady Seria to like me? Anything at all? I understand why you want to, but it's not going to be possible. I'm going to the glacier. What? No, 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 you can't do that. I'm going. Even if I have to go alone. All right, I'll come. But we have to make it quick. I can't be late for the wedding. Of course. We'll be back with plenty of time to spare. Then we can't tell anyone we're going together either. Sherry would never speak to me again. Are you seriously telling me they left the premises? And we've lost all word of them? Yes, Your Grace. Apparently, all contact with Marquis Hannerton has been severed. We think they got caught up in the sudden blizzard. He must be out of his mind. Either that or he wants Lady Seria to die. Perhaps they simply got lost. I don't think Marquis Hannerton wants Lady Seria to die. Asteran's wedding is not something that can be taken lightly. Marquis Hannerton knows this. If anything goes wrong, if any of the rules aren't followed, the Steren's power will erupt. In the worst case scenario, she would die. Lady Seria is joining the search party. I think I should accompany her so that I can You are be... to inform Seria that she is not permitted to take a single step outside of my premises. I can't leave? I have to find Callus before the ceremony. We're halting the search for today anyway, my lady. The blizzard is becoming too violent to venture closer to the glacier. Callus will be able to make it back, won't he? The Archduke sent me with a message for you. Pass this along to Lady Seria. I'll get that wretch into the wedding hall, even if I have to hogtie him and toss him inside myself. Continue your preparations as normal. No matter what may come to pass, your wedding will proceed as planned. Oh my goodness, Bibi. This is all becoming so intense. The High Church has so many rules for this wedding. Lady Seria, it's okay. The Archduke is going to make sure everything goes according to plan. Marky Hanson never returned. Apparently he's stranded. Surely he didn't run off with the saint. A wedding without a groom? What a humiliation for the Sharon! I have never felt so awful in my life. Callus is standing me up at the altar, in front of all these guests. Oh, I'm starting to feel a bit ill. Oh God, Marquis Anaton has run out of time. At this rate, Lady Seria's divine powers will explode any minute. What did you just say? Feels so. <coughs> just coughed up blood. What's happening to me? Lady Seria! You mustn't touch her! Let me go! Her ladyship- Abigail, this is a Steren ceremony. If she is touched out of turn now, her divine powers will be too dangerous for everyone here. But look at her! She's bleeding! <coughs> and here I was thinking I'd managed to avoid the terrible ending from the original story. Oh, I was so stupid. 
Is this really how I die? On the altar of my own wedding? Why? <coughs> I wasn't a villain. I did everything right. Out of my way. My Grace! You mustn't touch her! I won't just stand by and watch her die. Uh, your Grace. You cannot die, Lady Seria. Not like this. You have to be strong now. Uh, your Grace. <coughs> Prepare for a commitment ceremony at once. Your Grace! What are you doing? The Steren's wedding shall proceed as scheduled. Seria Steren will be saved. By whatever means necessary. dying. Where am I? The last thing I remember, I was preparing for the wedding. The wedding must have happened. Maybe I fell ill at the reception. But why is Ruche here wiping my brow? Where is Callus? Are we married? You really don't remember. Therefore, I command the head of House Burke. Archduke Rusha Burke, to swear an eternal oath to Seria Sterren, the recipient of the Constellation's blessing. I married you. The head of House Burke couldn't suffer the disgrace of losing a Sterren. Did everyone but me know I could die if the wedding didn't go according to plan? Yes. Sterren weddings are always extremely strict affairs. In order to prepare for the worst possible scenario, it's customary for the Sterren to remain unaware of such a possibility. The pressure can be too much to bear. So, Callus knew? Yes, Lady Surya. Callus knew. Oh! I can't believe I trusted him! I can't believe I actually allowed myself to feel things for him! He was going to let me die so he could... What? Frolic with Lena? Syria! Syria, where are you? Let me through. Where is she? Syria! It's fine. You can leave us. I have something to discuss with Marquis Hannaton. How could you, Syria? How could you marry Archduke Burke of all people? I hate him! I... You saw he threatened to cut off my hand, and then... and then you let him take yours? You didn't come. To our wedding. I knew there was something going on between you. You left me at the altar. To die. My marrying another man? That was entirely your doing, Callus. I... I... No! If it hadn't been for the Archduke, I would have died a horrible, agonizing death. He saved my life, while you... How do you know that you would... You thought I wouldn't find out? You knew that I'd die if you were late, and yet you still... Uh -huh. Or was it that you actually wanted me to die? Is that why you went with Lena? Would this all be easier for you if I were dead? I would never want you to die. I, I, we ran into misfortune. I, I didn't choose not to come. I... I was worried sick about you. Even in the face of a raging blizzard, I tried everything I could to get back to you. But then, I, I, I don't know, I suddenly lost consciousness. I, I don't know what happened. I don't believe you. Seria, you... Wait, how is Callus still alive? His own powers should have exploded just like mine would for the price for breaking his oath. You see, Callus had already taken part in a ceremony in which he pledged to marry Sterren. It bound him to Sterns, meaning he could theoretically marry any one of them. Seria, you are the only woman I've ever wanted to marry. Every declaration I made to you has come from the heart. I... I love you. Truly, I do. Seria, please, 
Give me another chance. That all of those moments, walking on eggshells, trying to please Callus, all of that time I spent playing the part of the charming, docile fiancé, all of the time I spent swallowing my anger, pretending to be someone I'm not, it was all leading me to another kind of ruin. Callus, did you... Did you marry Lena? Seria, I... I... You did. You married her. You're sitting here, yelling at me for marrying the Archduke to save my own life. Meanwhile, you're married to her! <laughs> Enjoying I've become a true villainess? Get even more of Seria and Rusha with the full story. Available only on Manta. Visit manta.net slash meetcute to enjoy a special discount for meetcute fans.